Hello and welcome to EMP Power Sports and Marine in beautiful St. Mary's, Idaho. Today we're going to do a first look over on our 1940s. I'm guessing it's mid to late 40s. Rockwell Delta Drill Press. It's a project that I bought. It does work. We actually plugged it in. It's three phase. I only have single phase in the shop, but we did plug this in at the uh, I what was it architectural fabrication shop that I got it from. It's probably off an old Navy ship. So we're just looking this this old girl over today. I'm gonna restore it and convert it to single phase, 110 power. Um, it's got a little bit of play, which is why the guy sold to me. And the uh, um, drill head. Uh, there are bearings inside here which you can replace as these are all handmade. So I'm gonna take this all apart replace the bearings i'm going to sandblast everything paint it probably like a battleship gray or maybe like a teal like the toolbox i'm not sure which color i'm going to go for yet another guy on youtube um, has the same one and he painted it in a battleship gray it really looks nice so this is a really nice cool old piece i scored this for a hundred dollars they go for about two thousand in good shape restored and about 500 to a grand work just in working order so i got a good deal because it's probably worth about a thousand bucks so get this off. This a little. There we go. So up here you have your pulley system. Change the speeds. By the way, this hood right here, I really like this cover. It kind of reminds me of like the hood of an old like 40s truck. So I could totally see this being a, a nice addition to a hot rod motorcycle shop. It just is. So your pulley system, you can adjust your belts. Won't do it, but you can move these pulleys up and down. This adjusts your drill speed. Uh, the motor, it's got the start um, start and stop switch. I'm going to try to retain this when I replace the electrical. Here's the motor back here, which is going to get replaced with, like I said, single phase 110. It's a little notice this is kind of a bummer. You can come in here or over there. It's stripped out right da just down here on the bottom. I'm not sure if somebody did this for a reason. But these are stripped out. It shouldn't affect how it works because the other teeth were, it actually goes up and down or in good shape. It just stripped right at the top. As you can see, I'm gonna get have to find some knobs. If anybody out there knows where to get knobs that are period correct, I want to replace these knobs. Um, it's cool. This table swivels, so it goes back and forth, which I think is really trick. I'm gonna probably replace this tabletop because some dingleberry drilled holes in it. And you can lock it, and it can go up and down. Actually, unlock it to do this. Let kind of go where it wants to go. There, there we go. Unlock it, and it goes down and it's high, adjustable. You can go up. Just rides on this little shaft. It's just they don't build tools like this anymore. I just love things like this. Damn things heavy. We had to use my neighbor's tractor to get it in the shop with heavy duty tie straps. It probably weighs about a thousand pounds. Man, just how cool is that? They just they don't build things like this anymore. Back when American made tools were actually made in America. And people actually built these things by hand and had pride and quality saying they're going to build the best thing they can. And um, if you like these old machines, um, this is pretty much people out there probably asking why the hell is this crazy guy in Idaho restoring an antique troll press when you just go get a new one for probably less. But it's the same reason why I restore old motorcycles and why I have an old truck and an old boat. I just like old things. And if you appreciate these old antiques that we're finding and restoring, please smash that like button, hit the subscribe button. It really helps us out. Uh, we're a small mom and pop shop out in rural Idaho, and this is our 1940s Rockwell Delta Drill Press. There'll be a part two and probably a part three video as this thing comes together. I do plan to restore it this winter. If I can find the time, we have a lot of clients' bikes that need to get done in the back room, so my little hobby projects get done around those. Um, anyhow, we'll see you next time. Please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button.